There's a huge universe out there. Whoa. With a lot of galaxies. Hold up, hold up. Wait, wait. What was that last part? With a lot of galaxies. I don't I don't get it. Why would she wait? Does that mean Rosalie? So before I begin, I must warn you all. Super Mario Galaxy is my all-time favorite Mario game. Hands down, this is the Mario game I would prefer amongst any others. So I apologize in advance if I get very... passionate about Rosalina. In any which case, the Super Mario Bros. movie is getting extremely close to release, and of course, a bunch of merchandise and such has been releasing for the film, one of which may have hinted towards one of my all-time favorite Mario characters showing up in this movie. It comes to no surprise that the Super Mario Bros. movie will have lots of characters, some which have been confirmed, some which have not. One actually may have accidentally been confirmed, and that character is one of my all-time favorite Mario characters, Daisy! Okay, no, I'm joking. It's Rosalina. Now, before I explain, I assume there's going to be a lot of people who don't know who this character is. Mostly due to the fact that Super Mario Galaxy has just recently turned 15 years old. And most people probably didn't buy Super Mario 3D All-Stars to begin with. So as such, I'll be explaining it for those of you who don't know who this character is. And for those of you who already do, I recommend fast forwarding to this part of the video right here. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and dive into who this character is. As previously mentioned, she comes from the 2008 Wii game, Super Mario Galaxy. In that game, Mario is invited to something called a Star Festival, which is held in the Mushroom Kingdom every 100 years. Due to the fact that a massive comet passes through the skies every 100 years and drops some stuff called Star Bits. And so, Mario decides to go after Princess Peach tells him that she wants to give him something. Although this all changed as soon as Bowser came in. Bowser then basically explains how he wants to make an entire galaxy, and as such, he decided to crash the entire festival, and in the process ends up knocking out Mario with Kamek's power, and steals Princess Peach's castle with Princess Peach in it. But that thing that Princess Peach was trying to give Mario was something called a Luma, which is an alien star. This alien star wakes up Mario, and Mario realizes he's no longer in the Mushroom Kingdom, or even Earth for that matter. He's now stuck on a very tiny planet, and then he meets a mysterious woman named Rosalina, who the Lumas call Mama. Rosalina then explains to Mario that she is a galactic traveler, who pilots something called the Comet Observatory, which is also the home of the Lumas. However, there's something odd this year. You see, she travels over the skies of the Mushroom Kingdom every 100 years, but this changed when Bowser took over. You see, Bowser knocked them out into space and stole their grand power star, which is just literally the power of a superstar, but cranked up to 10. No, literally, that's basically how powerful it is. And so she needs Mario's help, and particularly the Luma that Princess Peach was going to give Mario. So that basically then proceeds the entirety of the game. So basically, Rosalie seems like your average character, right? Well, truthfully, no. She's actually a lot more serious than what you would expect in a Mario game. She's literally got a pretty tragic origin story. So if you're very prone to cry, I'd recommend fast forwarding. If not, then let's get on with it. Throughout the course of the game, there's some place called the Library in the Comet Observatory. If you go in there every time you complete a new galaxy or do a certain thing, then Rosalina will actually read to a bunch of Baby Lumas a story. Although, if you read into it, this story is not really a fictional story, but a true story about Rosalina. One day, a young girl discovered a rusted spaceship holding a very small star child. This star child said its name was Luma and was waiting on its mother. Apparently, this mother was supposed to come on a comet to bring the child back. However, this Luma has been waiting for days and nights. The little girl, being filled with kindness, promised the little Luma that one day they'd find its mother. And so every night, the little girl would grab her father's telescope and look at the skies to see if a comet was passing by. But those nights turned into weeks. And those weeks turned into months, and those months turned into years, and still no sight of a comet. But the little girl ended up realizing, what if we just go try to find her ourselves? And so they repaired the rusty old spaceship that the Luma was in, and now took off for space. The little girl and Luma forgot how big space was, and they searched for days and still couldn't find the mother. Although one day, they discovered a turquoise blue comet 
and decide to land there. On this little comet, they found something called Star Bits, which to Luma is basically a snack. And since the little girl didn't really bring that much food, she decided to have a bite and was immediately in love with it. While on this comet, they discovered that there was water inside the comet and decided to stay there for a while. It turns out there wasn't just water and star bits inside there, there was also furniture and tools. That's convenient. And before long, the little girl and the loom had actually constructed a huge house. Although, they felt like it was empty because they were the only two there. Although, one day, a moon showed up with another Luma. This Luma, however, thought that this little girl was its mama. And then all of a sudden, a bunch of Lumas started showing up from the moon and started rejoicing, thinking that this little girl was its mother. After these Lumas ended up staying with the girl and the other Luma, this girl decided to look at her father's telescope and noticed a hill. In fact, the little girl actually knew what this hill was. This is a hill that she has such a personal attachment to, because she had so much great memories with her family. After this, the little girl started bursting into tears. She really wanted to go home. She wanted to see her father, her brother, and her mother, but she knew she would never get to see her mother because she was sleeping underneath that tree on the hill. And that's about as far as we know about her. Yeah, this is sad. And that's not even considering the ending of the game where the Lumas literally sacrifice themselves to protect everyone in the galaxy. Overall, Rosalina's tragic backstory makes for a very interesting Mario character, especially in the context of a Mario movie. Oh, and speaking of that, let's go ahead and actually talk about why she may have been leaked for the movie. Over the past few weeks, a bunch of Mario merch has been showing up online, some of which has officially been announced, most of which hasn't. But one that's officially been announced has got Mario fans raising their eyebrows. That toy coming from a company we're all too familiar with, McDonald's. That sounds like the start of a punchline, doesn't it? I kid you not, right now at McDonald's, there are Super Mario Bros. movie-themed toys and Happy Meals. And honestly, they're not really eye-catching, except for one. One character was a Lumily. No, it's not really a Luma, it's a part of the Luma family, just to clarify, but it's not a baby Luma like this. This Lumily is a traveling salesman Luma, basically, you know, just sell stuff. Now, I am not the first person to mention this, but I have to say it. This is weird. No, it's not the fact that Luma Lee is even in a McDonald's toy. That part's really not that weird. What's weird is that the Luma Lee is confirmed, basically, to show up in the movie. Almost all of the Happy Meal toys are characters that are going to show up in this movie in some way. We got Toad driving a Jeep, which was actually shown off in one of the trailers. We got Mario jumping out of a pipe, which we know he will do at some point. And we got a few bunch of the other characters. But the Luma Lee hasn't even shown up in a single trailer. I've looked very closely at each trailer, and I have not seen a single Lumily. So, why does this just feel so random? Unless, this is really a hint at Rosalina. As I mentioned, Rosalina is the mother of the Lumas. She watches over each and every one of them, and it doesn't make much sense for a Lumily to be out by its own. So, does that really mean Rosalina is going to show up in this film? Absolutely. I think. Now, it may not mean that she's going to be a main character like Peach is. It could just simply be a reference to the character. Maybe she'll show up in a flashback. Ultimately, we don't know how she'll show up. But it would not surprise me if Rosalina shows up in any way. Because personally, I think she'll happen. Even if the Lumily wasn't confirmed, I honestly would have expecting her. Sure, I was also expecting Wario and Waluigi and Daisy, and we don't know if those characters are ever going to show up. Please, come on, get Wario in this movie. But the fact of the matter is this. The Lumily is, of course, going to show up in this movie because McDonald's leaked it. Does that mean Rosalina's happening? I strongly think so. Now, with that being said, what do you guys think? Do you think I'm wrong? Do you think the Lumily is nothing in this movie? Do you think this is just simply a cameo? Let me know down in the comments below. And as always, I'll see you all in the next one. Cause every night